back in black. I hit the sack. I've been too long, I'm glad to be back. What's up, Rockers and Metalheads? Ammo here, and I'm joined with the Metal Elder. And this is your RMTV News Update. Phil Rudd has pleaded guilty to drug possession and one charge of threatening to kill after initially pleading the opposite. What people really want to know about though are the details of the threatening to kill charge and we have some. According to the court summary and the BBC, Rudd sat several of his employees last year because his solo album flopped. A month later he called an associate and wanted his personal assistant, quote, taken out. He reportedly offered $200,000, a motorbike and the choice of one of his cars or a house to carry out the hit. Soon after that he rang his PA and said, I'm going to come over and kill you, which left the assistant, quote, genuinely fearful for his safety. The drummer faces seven years in prison. The sentence takes place on June the 26th. In other news, Emily Dolan Davies has left the darkness after only joining the band in the new year. According to the band's Facebook page, she's leaving for new projects and will make her last appearance in the upcoming video for track Open Fire. New singles and videos next, links to everything will be below. Aussies, the Smith Street Band have released a new live video for something I can hold in my hands. Really well shot black and white piece. Parkway Drive cover Heaven Shall Burns, The Weapon They Fear. This momentous cover took place whilst the two bands were on tour last year, and it's well worth your time. Chunk No Captain Chunk have dropped the video for The Other Line. A lot of shadow use in this vid, feels like I was watching a let's play of Contrast. Lower Than Atlantis have released the new video for Words Don't Come So Easily. It features ice cream, sun cream, burgers, and a lot of damp humans. Crowbot have dropped an awesome animated video for Full Moon Howl, and as you can imagine from the title, it features a lot of wolf imagery, but also a lot of triangles, Illuminati confirmed. In album news, the metal supergroup Teenage Time Killers have revealed details of the debut album. The group, including the likes of Dave Grohl, Corey Taylor and Randy Blythe, will be releasing Greatest Hits Volume 1 on July the 31st. The full track list will be in the description below. Tom DeLonge is streaming his new solo album to the stars in full. This will be the first of four albums Tom plans to release this year. The link to the streaming is below. In festival news, Reading and Leeds have added a massive 76 acts to their lineup. I normally love my list, but I think this one's a mountain too big to climb. But on the rock and metal side of things, we have the likes of Turbo Wolf, Moose Blood, and Feed the Rhino. The full list of 76 will be below. And that's it for today's news update. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And check out our comedy slash informative podcast, RMTV Argue About Everything, on iTunes and rockandmeltv.com. Last episode we argued about, are driverless cars a good thing? Links below. Until next time, rock on!